Hello, my dear friend, you are welcome again to the continuation of our series on proper house wiring. Good. So at this particular session, we are going to look at insulation resistance test. But before we go ahead, um, what at all is insulation resistance test? And uh, why is it needful for that test to be done on the wiring before um, electricity is connected or supplied to the wiring? Okay. So the name itself gives a clue to what that particular test is actually about. Insulation resistance. Okay. So in the wiring, every cable has an insulation on it. And what that insulation is supposed to do is to resist the flow of electrical current outside the cable. Okay. So the insulation is supposed to confine current in the cable so that no current leaks outside the cable. Good. And so if the insulation on your cable is not strong enough or is not good enough, it can allow current to penetrate it. And that is what we call leakage. Good. But in a good wiring, we don't want to give room for any leakage. That means that when current is flowing through a particular cable to an appliance or to, uh, or to a gadget, we want that current to be limited only in the conductor. The current shouldn't flow through the insulation. It should, the insulation should be able to confine it inside the conductor alone. And so after the wiring, it is this particular test that will confirm that truly all the cables we have used in wiring have good insulation and will not permit any current to flow outside the cables. So simply insulation resistance is a test that is done to ensure that the insulators used on the cables that are used in the wiring are strong enough, are good enough, and will not permit any current to flow outside any of the cables. I think that is simple enough. Good. So what instruments can we use to carry out insulation resistant tests? All right, so to be able to carry out insulation resistant tests, you will need the insulation resistance tester. Okay, so in this video, this is the type I'm going to use for my test. This simple instrument you are seeing here will inject an amount of voltage into the wiring and then as it injects that voltage into the wiring through the cables, you check to find out if the insulation is able to withstand that amount of high voltage that is passing through the cables at that moment. All right, so our wiring is going to be supplied with 230 volts, which has an upper limit of 250 volts. Because the wiring is going to be connected to single phase, 250 volts maximum, we are going to double up that amount of voltage to do the test. So for the test, we are going to set the meter to 500 volts. And so we are going to push that 500 volts through the wiring and then we check if the insulation on the cables will be able to keep that voltage inside the conductors without any leakage. There are previous questions as to whether you can use multimeter to do that test. No, you can't use multimeter to do that test because multimeter is not designed to be able to inject that amount of voltage into the wiring for the testing but this is designed to do that so for insulation resistance test you can only use the insulation resistance tester it comes with the probes it also comes with these alligator clips so that in case you need to clip the cables you can use this one and then where you need to touch terminals then we use the leaves okay if there is something more you want to know please you can leave it at the comment section. 
All right, so let's go now and look at a step-by-step -step procedure for doing the test. Well, at this moment, I think you should subscribe and start sharing the video with others. And please don't also forget the like button, just in case you love what you are watching. All right, so here, one important thing to do before you begin the test is to make sure that all the lamps should go off. Every load must be disconnected. And then all the sockets must be at the off position. So all the sockets should be switched off. All sockets switched off. And then the switches have to turn on. It is also very important to know that before starting this test, the supply must be switched off. So, if it is a new installation, probably electricity is not yet supplied to it. But if supply has already been connected, then you make sure you isolate the supply before you begin the test. And to be double sure, make sure you isolate it again in the consumer unit. All right, so in this circuit, you notice that different cables run in the wire. So we have the circuit protective conductors, then we have the live conductors, and then we have the neutral conductors. So we have to make sure that just as there shouldn't be any leakage between live and neutral, there shouldn't also be any leakage between live and the circuit protective conductors. That is to say, head. And also, because we have RCDs in the circuit, there shouldn't also be any leakage between neutral and A. All right, so we want to check to ensure that all the insulation on the live cables are good, all the insulation on the neutral cables are good, all the insulations on the circuit protective conductors are good. And when power is supplied to this wiring, current will flow only through the conductors without leaking out from the insulation. All right, so let's begin the test. And for this test, the simplest thing we are going to do is that we are going to carry out the test from the consumer unit. Now, because we have already wired the consumer unit, we are going to check all the circuits one by one. That is, we are going to check the insulation resistance between all the lives and then the neutral and then all the lives and the head. All right, so first of all, I'm going to check for insulation resistance between all the neutral wires that are connected to the lighting system and the bell, and then all the live wires that are connected in the wire. Then after that, I'll continue to check the insulation resistance between all the live wires in the circuit and then the neutral wires that connect to the power circuit. And then after that, I'll check the insulation resistance between all the live wires and then the circuit protective conductors, which are all connected to this earth bar. All right. And then after that, we also have to repeat the same thing for all the neutrals and then the circuit protective conductors. So first, we have to set the meter by turning this to 500 volts. So this is at 500 volts here. All right, so our setting is on 500 volts. Now, the insulation resistance value should not be below a certain minimum, depending on your jurisdiction and then the electrical codes that apply in your community or your country. But here, it looks like we have good insulation resistance between this first live and then the neutrals. All right, so I am expecting nothing below 2 mega ohm but here i have over 3 giga ohm which means that the insulation resistance of the wiring is very very good and then we move to the next live wire 
the check. This is also above one giga ohm. One giga ohm is far, far, far above two mega ohm. All right, so still, we still have good installation resistance. All right, so we use the same procedure to repeat for the other live wires. So from here, we move here, and then we move here. All right, so when we are done with all these live wires and then the neutral wires that connect to the lighting system, because this is a dual RCD consumer unit, we then move to this second neutral bar here. And so we test between all the lives here and then the neutral bar. Then we also test between all the lives and the circuit protective conductors. And then between the circuit protective conductors and then all the neutral conductors. So let's check between it and then the neutral. So here we set to 500. And then we press the test knob. And there we go. So this also shows clearly that uh, we don't have any worry about insulation resistance between um, the neutral wires that supply the sockets and then the circuit protective conductors. Then the same way we move to check between the circuit protective conductors and then the neutral lines that supply the lighting circuit. So we test and then there again the reading suggests that we don't have any worry for insulation resistance between the neutral lines that supply the light and then the circuit protective conductors. All right so basically that is how you go about the insulation resistant test of an electrical wiring. Then one other important test that we should also have done is the earth electrode resistance test. But I have a practical video on that already so you can check below this video to assess it. There are a lot of videos that I have shared under this video that are part of this series from the beginning to the end and then other relevant videos that will help you to understand the whole wiring process very well. So this is the last but one session of the series on proper house wiring. And so I don't want you to miss out on the final stage where we'll finish up the whole wiring. And so please, if you are new, kindly do well to subscribe so that you'll be notified when I post the next video. And if this video has been useful to you, Please do well to share with others as many as possible and then remember also to hit on the like button if you really like what you have watched. Thank you very much for watching this video. See you in the next video.